Hi church, my name's Joel Weaver. I'm the North Location Pastor for Audacious Church. I've called today's devotion, The Ripples of Revelation. It's funny in life sometimes, we're able to make life-changing decisions at the drop of a hat, but sometimes it feels like it can be the impossible task. And I've recently been studying the account of the prodigal son in the Bible, an account of the father's love for us, but also an account of the consequence of our decision making. And God has been challenging me on how we are never outside of the father's love, but we can find ourselves outside of the father's blessing or the father's provision if we choose to live according to our own will instead of the will of the father. The separation line of a new way of thinking can often feel like a foreign land. And I remember when Becky and I were in the decision making process about moving to Manchester to help pioneer Audacious Church. The concept of living in a different city to the town I'd grown up in was hard for me to grasp at the time. But then in a single moment, God dropped a word of revelation into our hearts, which changed everything. It was a simple word, but pivotal. The revelation word then provoked us into action. And there's a moment in the account that I've just spoke about, the prodigal son, where the same thing happens to him. The son has chosen to go his own way, which has led to disaster. But then he has a revelation that his father's hired helpers are in a better situation than he currently was. The passage says he came to his senses. How do I know that this was a revelation in his life? Well, because there was three things that were attached to what happened. There was intention, there was confession, and there was also action attached to that moment. And this is what I call the ripple effect of revelation. You see, revelation has a ripple effect which changes not only where you are now, but also changes your future. Luke 15 verse 18 says, and this is the prodigal son speaking, I will set out and go back to my father. That's his intention. And I will say to him, father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. That's his confession. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went back to his father. His action You see, revelation moves you from intention to action. Revelation empowers you to change your current situation in order to live in a different reality. The prodigal son came to his senses and made the change. Revelation will reveal your true state. Coming back to the father actually means that we need to lay down our will in order to take up his will for our lives, willing to do anything that the Father requires because revelation has a ripple effect. My prayer today is that we all have a revelation of the hands that hold our future. It's more than a revelation of where we are, but also where we are going. The truth is this, we all place our future in the hands of something. It may be the hands of your own will, It may be the hands of our worry or our our anxiety. It may be the hands of our career or maybe our habits or the hands maybe of another person. It may even be in the hands of your insecurity. The hands of the father speak of forgiveness. They speak of provision, safe refuge and vision. When we place our future in the hands of the father, we find security. I just want to pray for us this morning. Lord, I pray today that you would bring revelation into our lives, revelation of your love, revelation of our value, revelation of our purpose. We choose today to place our trust in you. Thank you, Lord. Amen.